what's going on everyone so what a turn we took from the opening bell so at the opening bell we were actually up in green on the day on a lot of stocks and the indexes and wow really i mean that that at last hour candle on the triple q's on the nasdaq futures just really really put the knife in it so the big level in the sand that we were looking for on the triple q's was that 200 day moving average on the daily time frame chart um, we got down there. I was expecting a hard, hard bounce off that area. Um, and the bears really took it down like it was nothing. There was really no chance for the bulls. But the reason for this video is we're going to talk about Netflix. Okay, so if we can look at the overall broad market here, and we know that things have been selling off, could be could we be reaching a bottom? Absolutely. Um, the only problem that I have is that being so low that we've been okay we've been selling off to start the year just you know pretty aggressively here um you would imagine that with big tech earnings coming up and kind of playing a part in this that you know if they start to sell off mega cap earnings okay this could now start to push um the triple q's into a bear corrective market now to be considered a corrective market we need to be in at least a 20 percent uh decline and right now i think on the nasdaq 100 we're only at about a 10 11 percent correct uh you know pullback but if these mega cap stocks and their earnings the big tech and the growth earnings if they continue to get sold off we could very well see the nasdaq 100 the triple q's etf start to free fall because we're coming into you know we've lost literally every floor on the daily time frame closing under the 200 day moving average with that being said all we have left is the weekly 50 day moving average on the weekly time frame on the triple q's that price is going to be around 357 358 if some of these mega cap stocks continue to get sold and these earnings continue to get sold um you are going to see the indexes get pulled very very aggressively underneath that 50-day moving average on the triple q's with that being said we're looking at netflix live in the after hour session just a monster monster candle here um netflix closed at 508 dollars 25 currently being traded in the after hours at 435 dollars we are talking about over a 75 80 point decline sell-off on netflix if we look at the actual numbers on netflix they did uh miss on earnings uh netflix actually missed it was a uh, their expect their earnings came in at point 813 expected i think one dollar and 33 cents so it was a um you know i can't even you know put it into words here currently just watching the price go lower and lower and lower currently trading at 432 dollars um this is not good for tech so if we kind of take a look at the triple q's right now in this uh after hour session here closed at 361 dollars and 72 cents currently being traded at 360 11. This trend line that I have down here, this green bar that I, I kind of put on the screen, 358.43 is the weekly time frame. This is the last level of support. So I don't want to put everyone into a panic. I understand that if you're holding long positions right now, you are really, 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 really feeling the pain. If you have been trying to trade these dips and trying to buy the dip, you've been getting slapped. I mean, absolutely slapped. So with that being said, right now, everywhere on social media everyone is talking short this short this short this market's going to zero market correction we're going to have a crash so forth and so forth here's the only advice that i can give you the last thing that you want to do is unload your portfolio and go short on everything to kind of have the triple q's wash out into 357 358 and then snap back okay the the, the triple q's can snap back and recover half of this move in a matter of a week okay we've seen it happen before when we can start really putting on the short positions is if we start to close below 357 that's the big area that i want to key on and i want to focus on 357 on the triple q's if we do close on a daily time frame below that we could be heading into bear country meaning that we could get into some sort of corrective territory where you start to see the nasdaq 100 start to free fall if you thought that this was bad just hang tight 
if we do close below 357 on a daily time frame and you start to see the rest of these mega cap uh, stocks and you start to see those earnings sell off almost the same way that Netflix did, we could be in for a longer ride. Now, on the positive note, okay, because there's always a positive, we have to look at it from both sides. I understand that Netflix just took a beat down, currently trading at 425 now, so down 10 points since I, I last mentioned it. But with that being said, if we do get down to the 50-day moving average on the NASDAQ 100 and we hold and we get a nice bounce and then we get a confirmation we could essentially be catching the bottom of this dip. We could essentially be catching the bottom of this floor. I understand that the pain is real. Now, if we get if we get going into next week and we start closing on the 357, my attitude will completely change, okay? Um, I will be completely more short-term biased, uh, and I will not be looking for the bounce. What I will be looking to do is fade, meaning short every pop that we get if the NASDAQ 100 closes below the weekly 50-day moving average, okay? So all we need to do right now is stay patient, stay calm. I understand that there's a ton of, you know, red everywhere, okay? It's, it's red everywhere. I don't care if you're trading financials. I don't care if you're trading small caps. If you're trading mega cap stocks, you know, there's very few stocks out there right now that are holding any sort of gains. We did have the volatility index spike up to $25.59. So that's going to send a little bit of fear in the market here. As we come into this 50-day moving average on the weekly time frame on the triple Qs, I don't think that there's no way around it. We have being where we are, where we closed that today at 361, we have to test the 357. We have to test the 358. If we do not test the 358 level and we get a bounce tomorrow or Monday, I would not trust that bounce farther than I can throw it. Okay. So what that means is that if let's say going into the overnight session and into the future, uh, into the pre-market tomorrow, we get this mega bounce, I would be looking to get stuffed into supply and roll through today's lows to test that 357. Now, if we do get a washout tomorrow off the open into 357 and we hold for day traders, I think we can look for that push long to try to bounce some particular stocks. Okay, just be careful though. If we bounce those stocks, we do have a lot of ceilings ahead, meaning that we can't just say, hey, this is the bottom now, we're just gonna buy this bottom. No, we have to take extra precaution until we get over the 50 day moving average on the triple Q timeframe. We need to continue to day trade these bounces and sell these rips uh, that can be faded as they're coming into levels of resistance. So at this point where we're at right now, I really think that we need to, to test 357, 358 on the triple Qs. And from there, we're going to be able to tell, can we bounce this market? Are we potentially catching the bottom? Or if we do lose these levels, we have a tremendous amount of pain to come below 357. I hope this video helps. Guys, if you you know, if you want to join a Discord community where you can kind of ask questions, kind of see what we're looking at, what we're trading, join my Discord community. That community is down in the description box below. Also, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like on this video. Let me know what you guys think about the overall market. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, and we'll just wrap this up from here. Until next time, guys, stay safe out there. Protect your capital. Right now is not the time where you want to be going all in, going long or going all in, going short. Yes, is there opportunity to day trade? Yes, is there opportunity to uh, scalp short positions, scalp long bounces? Of course, but what I'm saying right now, it's not the environment where you want to be unloading your whole portfolio, chopping yourself all around, especially if you're taking a lot of losses. Just watching the triple Qs now come down to around 359.65, so currently down just about two points in the after hour session, and Netflix is continuing to drop at $417 here. This is absolutely insane. You can see this last trend line had uh, the lows here, you know, just maybe about 30 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago, 446.78. We are currently down at 417, guys. Everyone who played put options, congratulations. Everybody who bought put options in the beginning of the week, congratulations. Everybody who is holding this stock long, I feel for you. I will see you guys all in the next video.